complete and utter morons. I mean, did they even read our reviews? A powerhouse night theater the New York Times. You made that one up. How could the loyal order of the Boost Moose Lodge boo us off stage? Us! Leo, do you really want to do Shakespeare your whole life? Yes. What about what I want? Neighbors, a house. But Jack, all we need is a big break. How much do we have as of right now? Nothing. But, but, what about last night? Our show for the Moose people? They wouldn't pay us. The great act said one more soliloquy. He would have lost the herd. Maybe we should do a whole play next. But, Jack, it's just the two of us. We have seven costumes from different plays in a pinch we could put on. One gentleman from Brownhouse. The Taming of Mary Wife in Windsor. Much to do about Hamlet. All right. Jack, take a look at this. O Max Osteen, millionaire Florence Snyder of York, is reportedly searching for his sister's children. When, as children, they sailed to their, they sailed to England with their mother. She can't find them, and apart from. A niece named Meg. She wants to leave them her money. So what? So what? Jack, look at us. We could be brothers. Hey guys, I'm gonna pause you for a second. I'm gonna tell all of y'all. If you start hearing sound, keep going because I'm just gonna test so. <laughs> Oh, stop it. I can't pretend to be somebody I'm not. Besides, it's illegal. But Jack, it's we wouldn't be hurting anyone. What about our niece? Uh, Meg? What the heck with her? She'll get plenty. Instead of three million, she gets one million, and you get one million, and I get one million. A million dollars? We don't show up till she kicks the bucket. Dead. No, Jack. A little wooden bucket she kicks on its side. Now, we'll keep our ears low to the ground, and when it goes, we'll send a telegram. It will never work. Yes, it will. No, it won't. We don't know anything about Max and Steve, and we don't know anybody from York, Pennsylvania. <laughs> Kidding. Ah. Oh my gosh. Thanks. Hi. I bet you're wondering why I'm dressed up like this. It's very cheerful. Uh, it's my first day at the Tasty Bite. See? The egg is lost a bit in the middle. Uh, I know it's a commute and all, living in York. But I figure it's worth it if it helps me get through college. You live in York? Yeah. You wouldn't happen to know Miss Lauren Snyder, would you? Are you kidding? When I worked for a doctor, she came to the office like every day. <laughs> Do you know when she last saw Max and Steve? Mm, like 1920. How old were they? Six and four. Their mother's name? Jenny. Father's name? Yes. Oh no. And how's she doing now? Oh, she's dead. She died this morning. Oh, crap. Yeah, I know. It's awful. And has anyone heard from Max and Steve? Anything at all? Nope. Not a word. The funny thing is, she didn't even have a picture of them. She said she thought the older one, that was Max, she thought that Max was in the theater. In the theater? Ha! <laughs> and is there anything else she ever said about them? A uh, distinct scar or limp? Nope. Just average, normal people. She thought that Steve was, like, deaf and dumb, but that's about all. Deaf and dumb? Yeah. My name's Audrey. Jack. Jack Gable. Like Clark Gable. Hey, you're cute. I'll see you later. She thinks I'm cute. Fine, you're cute. And be deaf and dumb too, and I'll do all the talking. Oh, stop it. Why not? It's perfect. Because I don't know any... No, no. I can't be deaf. I don't know any sign language. Just make it up. It's easy. It is not easy. Yes, it is. Try it. Say yes. Say no. Maybe. I'm hungry. I'm thirsty. All right, good. Uh, stop it. Stop it, Jack. It's not funny. I'm sure it's not real sign language. We'll say it's a new system. Signing for the simple. You can read lips, but only mine. Now, the problem is... Audrey saw you talking just now, and she lives in New York, so... Try this. Try it with this hat. That's better. Hi. 
Sorry, I forgot my... Hey, who's he? Him? I don't think you've met him. I haven't? No, you haven't. You met Jack, an old friend. This is my brother, Steve. Steve? No kidding. Hi, how are you? Oh, I'm sorry, I can't hear you. He's deaf and dumb. Holy cow, that's incredible. Usually, I never even hear about anybody being deaf and dumb. Now it comes up twice. What a coincidence. Two deaf people named Steve. Two? <laughs> yeah. Don't you remember? Two girls we talked about. Max and Steve. Two girls? Yeah. Their real names are Maxine and Stephanie. Maxine and Stephanie? Well, that's great. Hey, he just talked. <gasps> Amazing. Look, girls. You know, he talks very well for a beginner. Congratulations! You're making terrific progress. Thank you. Y'all go ahead. Dang it! We are so close! At least I can talk now. Oh, great. Huh. Remember this one? We had a knockout actress, Julia. And I used to say... And I used to say, pardon me, but would you like to climb up my balcony? <laughs> and the taming of the shrew. If I be waspish, best beware my sting. No. Yes. No. Yes, we can do it. I'll be Maxine. You'll be Stephanie. I'm not doing it. Thank you. 
Because I will strangle you. My baby is talking. Stephanie is talking. Somebody could have told me about it three days ago. You were hardly breathing three days ago. But you were on life support. I could have listened, couldn't I? I could have dodged my head or blinked my eyes. Get back in that bed. <laughs> sorry, sorry. Um, is this the house of Mrs. Florence Snyder? Yes, it is. You're Leo Clark, aren't you? Uh, yes. Oh, please come in. I'm Maxine's cousin, Max. And I'm just so thrilled to meet you. Leo Clark. I mean, you're a real actor. You have a body. I mean, your body is trained. It's an instrument, a treasure. And my treasure isn't trained at all. My instrument, my body, the way yours is. Yeah, in the dance, I mean. Like... 
can explain. You traded I did it for the both of us. You did it just to get to med, say you could snog the grass. That's not true. All you want to do is bounce around as hero, wear trousers, and wide out with his darn vizier. Keep your voice down. Leo, Leo, get back. Leo! Leo! <laughs> Margaret? Margaret, get down here. Duncan, what is it? Take a look at this telegram we just received. Saw advertisement in London Times. Stop. Both of us thrilled. Stop. Embarking from Southampton tomorrow. On our way. We'll arrive at house at 8 p.m. Stop. Love, Maxine and Stephanie. I knew it! I don't understand. Those big, pushy creatures are not your cousins. Duncan, stop it! This is ridiculous. Maxine is wonderful and so is Stephanie. They are not your cousins, Margaret. They have come here to s steal your money and make a fool out of you. I don't believe, and I'll tell you why. Because Maxine, our Maxine, Maybe he's in on it too. Have you ever thought of that? Oh, Duncan, theater people wouldn't do that kind of thing. Wouldn't do that kind of thing? Meg, they are actors. They lie for a living. Leo Clark, what's he doing here anyways? He's starring in a play which we're putting on the night before the wedding, which I will be playing as well. So now you know. Please go. I'll see you later. <laughs> I look like a broom with shoes on. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. Couch, please. Don't you just love rehearsals? Give us a hug. Aww. Give us another. <laughs> and one. Never mind. Sit down. Hi, everyone. Sorry I'm late. Our steam director, Maxine, has asked me to give you guys a few notes. Well, she's out searching for props. Didn't she go shopping for props yesterday? Well, she's doing it again. She does that quite often, doesn't she? Well, Stephanie, there are a lot of props in this play. Yes, you young men. You handsome young men. Thank you, <laughs> Stephanie. Now, Meg, I want to start with you. Yes, Stephanie? May I be dismissed to the ladies' room? It'll take just a second. Give us a hug. Ta-ta! Now, Meg, let's start with you. As a gentleman, no, make sure to keep your head up so the audience can see. Right. And I want you to enunciate every word. My father had a daughter who loved a man, and as it might be perhaps, for I am a woman, I should be worshipped. Was this not love indeed? Not this love indeed. Good. Now, Mr. Doc, since you're doubling as a captain, you might stoop a little, the whole seat on that. And then, as Sir Toby, you might be a bit more... Rollicking. Rollicking. Got it. Okay. Now, Butch, try to... I 
I thought of it first, and it was my idea. Ha! Ha ha! Ha ha ha! Ha 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 ha! Now sit down. <laughs> Yes, I know you need evidence to arrest them, but you were supposed to find it. 